know, SCORE International is the leading off-road organization in the world. We make the rules and regulations for the sport, and our granddaddy of all events is the Takati SCORE Baja 1000, which is definitely a global event. It takes place in Baja, California, and Baja Sur. Uh, about every other year we run the race, which is called the Peninsula Race, from Ensenada to La Paz or Cabo San Lucas. I think the future is fantastic. I think that uh, the sport itself, because of the great coverage we've been receiving from NBC and ESPN globally and all the print media, has given the world uh, an opportunity to see how difficult and how uh, exciting our sport is. You know, uh, I mentioned I've been involved in off-road racing, but I've been involved in motorsports uh, since the uh, 60s. I was the publisher of Hot Rod Magazine and Car Craft Magazine for Peterson Publishing back in the early 60s and mid-60s. So I've had an opportunity to see just about all forms of motorsports. And you know, they're all great, there's no question about it, but you know, NASCAR or Indy race or anything, you know, they get a hamburger wrapper on the tarmac and they throw a yellow flag and bunch everybody up and restart the race. Well, off-road racing is really man against machinery and the elements and there's no place better than that than Baja, California. Well, the Raglan uh, family has been a, a great uh, attribute to our sport. A longtime personal friend of mine, Larry, uh, he came into the sport uh, a number of years ago and he's a real gentleman. His son Chad also is, you know, and they, they really represent all the great things about motorsports and especially off-road racing. And, uh, you know, uh, Larry is a champion, uh, unbelievable, you know, he's won, uh, he's had 10 score championships over the, the beginning of, of SCORE International. He has uh, five overall class wins with the SCORE Trophy Truck Division, uh, second only to the Herps family, and his son uh, Chad along with the T-Force team, I think are going to be a, a force to reckon with uh, real soon here. Chad is a, a very uh, uh, personal, very uh, intelligent young man. I think he uh, has taken the best of what his father has done over the years. He certainly uh, knows the Baja terrain. He goes down there and does his homework. I know that they've been down there already pre-run. I think they were one of the first teams when the pre-running opened the first part of this month. And they do their homework. They prepare their vehicles absolutely immaculately, uh, very technically, very uh, professionally orientated. And Chad, you know, again, comes from a background of off-road racing. It's in his blood as a child, and he knows how to read the terrain. Well, I really believe score off road racing in Baja was an extreme sport before the, anyone even knew what that word meant. I mean, this is really, really tough racing, as I said, because, you know, we don't close the roads. Uh, these are, uh, you could go from anywhere from five miles an hour to on a dry lake bed if your vehicle, which some of these score trophy trucks are capable of doing about 120 plus miles an hour, but that's only for a short distance. We run on highways, we run through towns, we run on ranchers' roads, you know, you've got people that are running backwards on the course, you've got citizens that are running right next to you because they want to be in the race. So this is not like anything else anyone really does in motorsports. And I've really tried over all these years to keep it on the edge, a safe edge, but to keep it something that is not what the normal motorsports is about. And I think uh, that's the key and the responsibility that I have, you know, to make sure that we continue to be able to do this the way we've been doing it.